Yo skis. It is a vlog. I am reading my viewer she blocked me merch from Jess Owens. She's amazing. I adore her. Uh, today is actually Mother's Day. I just got done filming my videos and I'm still waiting on my lunch. So here we are. The barbecue place has like an hour long wait. So such is life. Obviously eating at home, but didn't didn't want to cook. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. <laughs> so right now I figured I would do a reading vlog and I might do it for a whole week. I honestly have no idea, but this is gonna be the reading vlog for May. <laughs> so right now I'm reading The Duke Who Didn't by Courtney Milan and this is a Chinese main character who's lived in England basically her whole life for most of it and the Duke is half Chinese and he loves her and she doesn't know that he's the Duke and he is trying to convince her to love him. She makes lists and is very type A and he's trying to get her to marry him but he knows that she will just like not even take him seriously if he says I want you to marry me so he's working on it. <laughs> I'm 30% through and I'm enjoying it so far. Courtney Milan is a twitter queen <laughs> and so I'm happy to finally be reading one of her books. I just got a text that says they're still waiting to get the barbecue. Why? I'm so hungry. It's fine. Everything's fine. So I guess I'm gonna read while I wait but I am in a urban fantasy mood so I think that's what I'll pick up next but we shall see. That's what I'm gonna do. So hey I'll talk to you soon. Since it was my mother's day and my mother-in-law had come over I decided to do a watercolor with the family. All the recognizable shapes are my works and all of the uh, more interesting colorful ones are my children's, but it was a fun time and it was a good afternoon. Hello. <laughs> you like how I wear my glasses up there sometimes so it doesn't rub on my ears? Okay, so I just finished the Dooku Divent. I ended up loving it. I gave it five stars. I was laughing. I don't know if I have like mascara smeared, but I was laughing until I was crying at this one part. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so funny. It was the conversation with her dad um, the morning after. And it was the funniest thing <laughs> that I have read in a while. I was laughing hysterically. My husband was staring at me just like this is this is hilarious I loved it there was no third act breakup so he's the duke nobody knows and her father has a special sauce that she's trying to make a big hit this weekend at the festival thing and he was wronged by two businessmen who stole his recipe years ago and so they've been working for revenge since then and there were a lot of twists and turns and I just, I loved it. I thought it was entertaining. She was definitely like, you know, if only he would love me. I can't let myself hope that he would love me. So I don't love that. But like when he flat out told her, she like believed him. If that makes sense. I'm trying, my arm is tired. <laughs> she believed him and... There was no third act breakup or anything, which I was so pleasantly surprised for. I was like, oh, here we go. Brace myself. Nope, no third act breakup. So I was very, very happy with that book. So it's end of Mother's Day. And that's all there is. <laughs> so yeah, loved it. We'll definitely read Courtney Milan again. So that's it for today. The Iron Duke by Mel Jane Brooks, aka Mila Bain. So there's that. All right, good morning. So it is like 10 30 in the morning, not not early. Um, and I've not read anything yet today. I did edit through the first run through of my ebook haul that started out as 30 minutes, and I have it down to 23, 43, something like that. On the first edit through so that was time well spent probably took me 
around an hour or so. Yeah, I've not read yet today. I have a bunch of stuff to do, including catching up on all the work that I did not do on Mother's Day weekend. <laughs> so I have quite a bit of laundry to do. I need to get some winter clothes. I was coloring with my children this morning. Um, so I marker on me. I need to get winter clothes kind of shuffled out. Some of them, obviously like I live in, I live in crew neck sweatshirts, but like some of like my heavier fleeces and my more winter aesthetic <laughs> sweaters and things like that, they need to get out of my closet and I need to put away a lot of clean laundry. I need to get dishes cleaned. I need to tidy some. My son wants to go get a haircut. He's not gone a haircut from anybody but me in a year and a half or so. And I'm not the greatest. <laughs> uh, and he just really wants his haircut. So obviously he'll have a mask on and everything. But so I was going to take him to do that and get groceries tonight. So I told you that last night I started the Iron Duke. That is true, but I was also watching The Big Bang Theory with my husband, and honestly, at least the introduction of this world, I think, needs a little bit more attention than I was giving it. <laughs> Let's look at my handy dandy Kindle. Just ignore my hair for now, okay? We're just going to ignore it. Today's a sweat day, at least until I leave the house. Well, I'm still on chapter one. I don't know how to listen I'm so challenged like I do not know sometimes it like shows me the percentage and the page number and sometimes it doesn't and I don't know if you can control that because <laughs> I haven't figured it out but um I'm still in chapter one and I'm not really clear on what's happening I understand that they put thingamabobbers in the sugar and that's how they took over, but honestly was not giving it the attention that I needed to and I'm not really clear. I kind of got that some people left and some people stayed and the people that stayed are the ones that had to deal with the zombies. Some went to the New World and some stayed in England slash Britain, um, but like I am not clear on what's happening to be honest. <laughs> I do know that he's the duke that uh, saved everybody from the zombies and she is a detective. And there's a body dropped on his doorstep and that's how they meet. So I haven't met him yet. Right now we're with her in a ball and they're kind of uh, setting up the world explaining what happened with the zombie horde takeover and stuff. But like I said, wasn't giving enough attention so I'm not really clear on what's going on. So yeah, I do not know how much time I will have to get reading done today. I have more stuff <laughs> to do than I mentioned, but I would like to at least read some, to be honest with you. So we're going to try. But because yesterday was filming day, I have three videos that need edited. My house needs cleaned, groceries need done. I have to do some work and there's just a lot of stuff to do so I should probably get to that <laughs> okay so it is one-ish and my mail came and I got this lovely bookmark which says kiss me until I'm sick of it which is a quote from the wicked king by Holly Black which is the sequel to the cruel prince I love this quote. I think that this is very pretty. Too bad I don't really <laughs> read physical books to actually use it, but you know, it's very pretty and I love the quote and I wonder, it did take like six weeks to get here. It did come from India, which obviously could be the problem all the time, but especially right now could have been delayed, but it's from the book nook, little book bar, nope. <laughs> little book bar on Etsy and yeah I like it 
I like it a lot. So got that pretty thing. I'm in chapter four of the Iron Duke. The info dumping, if you will, did not last very long. It was just a few pages where you kind of needed to pay attention to know what was going on. So we did meet the Duke in chapter one. And so basically the Mongolian horde used robot technology, like nanobots, and they were in the bloodstream of people and they could use them to control their emotions. And they did this to, I think the whole world, but England. And the Duke was a pirate who blew up their tower and destroyed their control over the nanobots, which were controlling all the people that were infected, but there are um, smoke or, so, or something in London where you can't survive without the nanobots. So there are people from the new world who don't have the nanobots and they think that they're superior and there's this big push saying, you know, anybody with the nanobots isn't safe because you could control them uh, even though they couldn't control their thoughts they could but they they um, did have some control anyways it's interesting so she is a lady and she is also a half horde so um the horde could create like a breathing atmosphere and that happened and that happened to her mother. So she is half Horde, half English. So this is once again a half Asian character, which I uh, find interesting. So this is my second book in a row. Who's messaging me? Izzy is. Um, what was I even saying? <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, so there are definitely, there's some racism elements, but it's, um, it's spread amongst other prejudices, including the prejudice of people without the nanobots against people who are. And the ones who do have the nanobots are like, girl, you all are idiots and you're going to die. So <laughs> I don't know where we're going. Um, the Duke is definitely very interested in the inspector and uh, is very alpha. So I am excited to continue they don't know who the dead guy is right now that showed up on the Duke's step. And so they're trying to figure that out and they are actually having an interaction right now. So I'm gonna get back to reading. I have another cup of coffee as one does. I did get my video edited and uploaded. Now I have to do the description. So I think I will read a chapter or two of this and then try and get my video ready for tomorrow and then knock out the rest of the stuff that I really need to have done today, if at all possible. So that's the plan for now. The plan is reading, <laughs> followed by hopefully getting a bunch of stuff done. Cause it's only like 1.14. <laughs> what we got done today? Got a video edited. I fed kids, I read, I've taken care of animals and got ready for the day and all that. But I mean, we're, I don't have a bunch of stuff done and I really need to because at least half of my usable day is gone. So shoot out on that. Okay, end of the night is my kids' bedtime. They're all in bed. I. Just got done grocery shopping and all of the things. I am 43% through the Iron Duke, loving it. All I wanna do is read it, can't. I have to work on the computer until I'm done already quite <laughs> tonight. But I am loving it so far. So, end of the day, I'm exhausted. I got only half of what I needed to get done today. Done, could have gotten more of it done if I did no reading. That's not the compromise I chose today. I chose some reading, some getting stuff done. So that's just how it is. Some days there's half and half. Some days there's all, or mostly, I should say, one or the other. But uh, today was kind of split. So still have a bunch of stuff that needs done. Got halfway through my book. <laughs> and yeah, 
It's just life. So I'm going to get ready for bed, work on my computer, and honestly, I might stay up tonight reading because I just want to read this book. <laughs> I like, I like the relationship between them. So we're 43% through and there hasn't been a kiss, although he's tried a few times. And I just, I like their, their banter and their attention and the way that they're working together. So yeah. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's kind of steampunky. Um, there's lots of mechanical things, but there's not a lot of explanation for it. It's just kind of either you know what this thing is or you don't, and I like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna get ready for bed, work, and probably stay up late reading. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, it is three o'clock the next afternoon. My daughter is in here, so you will probably hear her. I finished the Iron Duke. I gave it five stars, even though they didn't say I love you until the very last page. Do not hit that, ma'am. Do not hit that. Okay. Okay. R. You can't be in it. Anyway, so they didn't say I love you until the very last page, but there's a lot of plot in that book. And they had, like, interactions and stuff, but, like... They kind of both thought that the other one just wanted them physically and not emotionally. Uh, it was really good. It was really good. I enjoyed it. If you want uh, yeah. strong and clear consent in your books, it's not there. Mm. She says no a lot. You can't Ooh. come up here. Okay, anyways. What was I even saying? Oh, there's not clear consent. She says no and he does it anyways yeah. a lot. So there's that. But I did really like it. He's definitely an alcohol. She's definitely a prickly heroine. And not prickly so much as just very serious and focused. And um, she is half Asian and is a result of the Horde who are the ones that took over everything and did everything. And so there's a lot of racism against Asians and against half Asians. So there's that in The Duke Who Didn't, there's that in The Iron Duke, and I'm also watching The Shadow and Bone with my husband at night. So there's been a lot of it in my recent media. So time for a break. So I started Relationship Goals by Christina C. Jones and this, I'm 25% through, it's an novella. It's like 177 pages, at least it said so on Goodreads. They meet in the airport, she helps him out he kisses her it goes viral and then they're like talking over social media and he shows up and he cancels on her and there's something going on with him i think he might have a chronic illness or something like that some sort of health condition i don't know that for sure but i feel like that might be what is going on and she is like really big into mental health and wellness and um, just women's health in general and she's a beauty editor and I really like the way that the story is going. I've kind of teared up like a few times and I've also like smiled and laughed so this is definitely kind of the lighter thing that I needed next after reading all these longer books with kind of heavier <laughs> topics in them. But yeah, love Christina C. Jones just she really does Fill me with delight. Like, I always enjoy her books in a happy way, even when she deals with difficult content or emotions or trauma. I still overall feel happy reading her books. And so that's why she's one of my favorites. So I have so much to do. <laughs> Basically for the next hour and a half, I think I'm going to clean and cook. I'm going to make soup of Toscana for supper, which is an Italian soup with kale and potatoes and spicy sausage. Uh, it's freaking delicious. <laughs> for that, I need to get a lot of stuff done. Just cleaning. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see how much I can get done in an hour and a half. So Zupa Toscana, I do chicken broth and butter. I add a lot of parsley and seasoned salt and then it's the potatoes first. I already cooked the sausage and then just rinsed out the pan and did the soup in the same pan. 
because I despise dishes with everything in my being. You can see that the kale starts out as a lot and then shrinks dramatically. And you can also see how the milk separated. That's because I boiled it because I got distracted by looking at my YouTube analytics. So it's separated. That's not what you want, but that is what happens if you boil your milk for too too long at um, too high of a temperature. You don't want to do that, but that is what happened this day. But it was still freaking delicious, even with that mishap. And yeah, I hate doing dishes, so there are some paper. Like, just one person over here. Alright, you might be able to hear that my husband is going home. I have decided just to close the vlog here. I just don't know how much time I'm going to have to read the next few days can't film life things because of course my family is in the house and yeah I think this is a decent amount sorry if it was boring but I did read the three books well two books and a half book and I am really enjoying my reading for May so yay me go me uh and that's kind of it so thank you for watching and hanging out with me I did get a bunch of my cleaning done not every single thing but a bunch of it so feeling good and I'm ready to be done. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. Bye!